Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut, and in this video what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to install Windows XP in VirtualBox. There's a lot of reasons you would want to do this. So getting right into it, we're going to want to create a new OS. Now before I start, you're obviously going to either want an old XP disk or you're going to want a XP ISO on your computer. I have a ISO of Windows XP on my computer, so I'm just going to type Windows XP. Click Next then you're going to want to give it as much RAM as you feel is necessary. I'm going to give it a gig. Wait, I'm going to give it one. Actually, that right there is good. I'll give it that much. Click Next. Then I'm going to want to create a new hard drive. And you can select whatever one of these you want. I recommend the first one, though, if you don't plan on moving it around at all. Click Next. And then you're going to want to do it dynamically, unless if you wanted to create the entire hard drive and take up more space on your computer. You do fixed for more information of what they are, you can have them here. So, well, they are there. So, click next. Make it as big as you want it. 10 gigs is good for XP. I'm going to create that. And then I'm going to go into settings for the XP, go to system and make sure everything is how I want it to be. I'm going to give it a second core, so it's dual core. Um, I'm going to go to display, make sure it has as much video memory as I want. I'm just going to bump up the video memory to 128. You don't have to do 3D acceleration. I'm not going to do it right now. You can try it out if you want to though. I'm going to click OK. And then you're going to want to start the Windows XP operating system and you're going to want to select where XP is. So if you have a disk in, you're going to want to select whatever um, drive the XP disk is in. If you have an ISO of it, you're going to want to click, we'll find the ISO and open it that way. And then start your operating system. We'll start your virtual machine. And it should boot up right into the Windows setup. So that is how you get it running. Now I'm going to show you how to install it. Now I may do little cuts here and there while it goes through the installation process. So if you see a jump cut or anything like that, know that you haven't missed much, just a loading screen. All right, if this comes up, you can just click OK. And after it loads, it sh you should see this. You're just going to want to hit Enter and Install in the unpartitioned space. And then you can do whatever one of these you want to. I recommend the uh, NTFS, but I'm going to do the quick one just for the sake of this video and making it quicker. But I recommend you do the uh, non-quick formatting. Now this is only going to take a little bit. My video performance is slow. Whatever. And now it's going to examine my disks. And it's going to copy the files. Now this is actually installing the files onto the virtual disk. So I'm going to pause the video while it does this. Alright, right once this is done, it's going to finalize the installation setup and do some things in the configuration. And then when it's done, it should restart the computer automatically. And in this case, the virtual machine. So now it is restarting. And it's going to say press any key to boot from CD. You're going to want to ignore that and wait for it to boot into the operating system. So now we have Windows XP on the virtual machine. It's going to take us through a setup wizard. So I'm going to click OK to that and wait for Windows XP to boot up. As you can see, it is a much ro lower resolution than your actual computer when you first have it booted up. I think it's like, I think it's 800 by 600 or even less, maybe 300 by 400 to start out. I'm pretty sure it's 800 by 600. So it's going to rip everything. It may be a little different for you, the installation process, but it's pretty self-explanatory. You just click next and do everything that it wants you to do. So right now it's installing Windows and that may take a while. Now everything from this point is pretty self-explanatory. Like I just said, you're going to want to go through the setup process and it will eventually start up and it should work fine. So I'm going to end the video here. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Have a great day and goodbye.